Namaskar, this is Aditya Soma. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm actually excited to share some... Why am I excited? <laughs> <laughs> Namaskar, this is Aditya Soma. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I would like to, you know, share some challenges that we went through when we are doing our ADU project. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I made another video sharing a before and after renovations of a property that you know I have converted a single family into a like adding a legal secondary unit in the basement and you know it, it turned gorgeous now but in this process there were so many challenges so in this video we will be sharing all those challenges and how we handled those challenges and what was the output so I'm actually back again with my partner Raman so Raman, thank you so much for your time. Thank you because, for you know, inviting me again. Yeah, again, you know, you're the one who actually was in the front face seeing all these challenges. <laughs> so I thought, you know, you're the best person, you know, to, to talk about more than me. So share us to start with, like, you know, was this ADU project, do you think it's worth we did all these things? A hundred percent. Otherwise, we wouldn't have put an offer on this property at all. So, uh, it was definitely a bigger project than the last one which we had, but uh, I think it worth every penny. Yeah, but you know, uh, for last seven months, eight months, yeah, it's it's been a hustle. It was it's, a it's hustle. Yep. To start with, some of the major challenges, right? Like you know, to start with one of the major challenges that we were discussing was waterproofing. Definitely. So what happened? Like you know, why we had to spend almost like good amount of money. On the money part, we'll share in another next video because I don't want to go into details of sure. all the renovation cost and everything. But why did we end up like doing this waterproofing? So as you know, the basement was not finished when we purchased the house and we were doing the ADU unit on this one. So after we started doing ADU and when we were doing the framing, it rained for like good one week, I guess. And then during that one week we found that there was a water seeping through um in the basement like you know there were like cracks everywhere and then water was seeping through and uh, that's the time when we decided like you know it's better to get a waterproofing done rather than just waiting and then having more damage to the property yep. so that was a couple thousand dollars which we didn't actually include originally <laughs> and that was a surprise yeah. but I'm, I'm really glad that we did it because this property we are planning to hold for long term so it just like you know make more sense to do the bottom yeah. roofing and not to do it if it was a flip then we didn't have to but yeah. I'm glad that we did it so yeah again you know if you're wondering what's waterproofing it's more like a delta membrane uh, and we did it from outside yes because that's another thing it's expensive to do from outside because we had these cracks and we don't want water to seep inside and the you know foundation will deteriorate uh, exactly. if we do the, uh, from inside. the inside waterproofing yeah. from inside so that's why we did it from outside it's it's almost double the cost um, but like you said you know for if your vision is to keep the properties for long run it's better to fix it instead of like you know just patching it exactly patching will never work yeah. so uh, i mean even like uh, getting a waterproofing done from inside is not a great idea it's cheaper 100 percent, but it's not a very good idea because your uh, foundation walls will still damage with the water uh, because it cracked through the foundation wall but it will not go inside the basement but still it's a better to get it done from the outside and pay that amount yeah another big challenge that we faced <laughs> do, do you want to talk about that one yeah so splitting the water meter is the next one which we faced and uh, the worst thing the timing was a little bit off because uh, as i think you already know there is a big project going on city of winter is expanding uh, the whole uh, street right in front of our house and the construction is uh, going on since February this year I yeah. think and it's all the way till next year they will be yeah. finishing all yeah. that the positive is that we will have a brand new brand road new. <laughs> <laughs> the negative was like it just kind of limit us to do some of the construction work at our property one of them was like splitting the water meter from the water main 
that took us like additional months to get that done because we had to go through the additional approvals yeah. and additional contractors which like added some extra time yeah. it, you know time is again when you're in the process of renovations right time yeah. is money because now everything is else is holding up to get this work done it's just you know and all the our holding cost for the project is going up and, and because the construction going on like getting the contractors became very challenging yeah and then we couldn't work at the same time when the city contractors are working outside they limit that so we had to wait until they were done with work in front of our house and then we actually schedule the, the water meter yep. job so and again you know for us we were also debating that like do you really need this water uh, water meter split we were like you know okay we can do without water meters separate meters we can just say hey you pay 60 percent and the main floor the lower level will pay 40 percent but for us it was like you know we don't want to that hassle if we can avoid if we spend that one month time and you know x amount of money if we can have a separate meters we would rather you know take that in the long run so and i'm all about um just getting rid of all this extra headache after we renting it out so yeah. i'm not looking forward from getting a phone call from tenant oh i didn't spend that much i didn't waste that much extra yeah. water you know so now we have two separate water meters so we don't have to worry about those and that's what you know I, I was actually kind of half and half you know why why don't we do it yeah but you kind of convinced me you know <laughs> let's let's have it so yeah i definitely and, don't want to have an, any call at night time <laughs> yeah and again you know when when you're that stubborn like when you know like you want this for future right like it's gonna help us for yes. future so yes the hustle maybe if it's worth it or not what do you guys think D did we take a hit or like we should have just done Gone with <laughs> without just um, one single yeah so let us know what's your thoughts another major one you know this one actually i was not happy to see at all like at least waterproofing is something that we know because mostly the basements when we are doing these are older properties we either we, we would have done with the inside one this one was like totally unexpected if you saw in the previous video the sunroom that was a gorgeous sunroom yes and it started to leak thank god we are doing renovations when it was like raining mm -hmm. so because we were doing the renovations at the raining time and we were able to find all these issues exactly. <laughs> it's good and bad it's a good and bad but um glad that we did it because now it was raining continuously and we had tons of rain this year and that was actually that's how we found out all these additional leakage <laughs> and all these problems and sunroom was one of them sunroom was actually never insulated properly so yeah. good thing that it leaked and we found that out so now it definitely added some additional cost to our project but we were able to actually insulate and now that space is like not just like a one season use yeah. we can use it throughout the year yeah. and we have the vent in there and tenants can use actually that sunroom yeah, can be used pretty much now the like heated uh, sunroom yes but again we, we we could have avoided that yeah. say just take the whole sunroom out yeah <laughs> but we needed you know now we don't want to put the laundry in the washrooms or somewhere so the, the washroom still looks spacious the issue was not only just the water that water leak because we, we already did the waterproofing from the sides but yes. water is leaking from the top from right? the top so it's like we gotta fix that uh, thing and change all the siding do the insulation yes so it's, it's it was a good amount of work and good amount of extra cost that's uh, true but again going back why we did it maybe with the vision of long term right yeah so that's where it comes like when you're doing a project maybe if you're doing a flip some things you can cut corner but if you're looking to hold do the burr keep it for long run yeah and it adds value yeah. end of the day i mean any any work you adding anything you adding to the property will add value to your overall property so it's not it's not bad it's not a waste of money yeah so yeah uh, another one that actually a lot of people facing right now the material cost <laughs> oh man <laughs> I and we started literally during this COVID time, yes. right? Like costs almost like every material went up by. It was skyrocketed. I mean, two by four were like more than double the price, and uh, the worst thing was like store didn't have 
enough inventory and we couldn't just go to the store and then see how the material looks like and select yeah. anything because nothing was available yeah. so we really had to spend more time looking online try to figure it out how it's gonna match with the house other stuff in the house and it definitely took extra time but end of the day i think it all yeah, worked, it. worked out you know yeah worked then, out fine and then we almost spent like 40 50 percent more in the material definitely. cost definitely um and you know we have to sometimes just go with the gut for example like raman was mentioning paint color we could not see in the store and even this one i think right like we have oh yeah so we had to pick it from the picture from but the luckily pictures. it just turned yeah it matched nice, you know it so. matched well with the flooring at least that's what we were thinking <laughs> let me know if it did <laughs> those kind of things are like really challenging yeah. it is very challenging when you can't actually physically go to the store and choose your own material then you totally rely on your judgment and uh, trying to figure out in your mind if it's gonna work out or not but uh, end of the day I think um, we made the right decision I yes. guess and again you know overall these are like some major issues that we came up but there were like a lot of little issues like you know having the contractor coming in on time first of all choosing the contractor took time start asking the contractor to start the work you know his timeline was also like challenging yes um, but you know one thing we learned like you know if you we start all this like picking the contractor having the material and all those things maybe by the time when we have an offer form before closing before the closing it would have been much better yeah if, if we would have done the uh, application for the permits or picking the contractor picking the material all those things before closing we would have saved at least two months time um but not to mention that we started the adu process actually yeah. with city permit ahead of time before the closing yeah but it took like maybe two months more than two yeah. months to get actually permit done because city was like so um delayed because of the resources not enough employees were working so that like additional two to three months to our project as well because we couldn't get the permit so yeah so again you know in summary here's the the reason purpose of my whole this video is like hey if you're planning on taking any renovation project just expect this kind of things can happen right expect the reason one of the reason like we were not shivering or we didn't sell out of stress because we were kind of prepared and we have extra funds either you know we have access to extra funds or we have funds that we can use for that extra unexpected issues or extra material cost or you know any delay in the timeline all those things so you gotta be prepared that's exactly what i'm gonna give a message especially if you're taking on projects on a regular basis just be prepared mentally and financially i'm pretty sure you know projects will work in the long run yeah and it's actually can make and break your deal if yeah. you are not able to afford the extra ten thousand dollar i mean it's really can add so much stress it but i will always say like it it's always nice to have like additional 25 yeah. percent um set aside for these kind yeah. of things so especially when you're taking on a project that you know this uh, big yeah exactly because yeah, it's like a four bedroom house and yeah. the renovation budget was like higher too so exactly so yeah that's pretty much the major challenges um, and of course you know if you haven't checked out the before after renovation store go check out that and in the next video we'll be talking about the numbers you know how much we purchased rents and all those things until then Check out the other videos and see you later. See ya. Thank you. Thank you, Aditya. Bye.